Welcome to the Morrison Formation, one of the most fascinating places on this planet ever. I'm in the Jurassic period when the supercontinent of Pangaea split apart. There's continued evolution and diversification of dinosaurs and the very first birds. It's wonderful to see this, a truly awe-inspiring predator. Listen to those sounds. Dilophosaurus, standing about six feet tall, agile. This really was a force to be reckoned with. Look at those teeth. Look at these claws at the front of the body. As you can see, Dilophosaurus had a covering of fine feathers, like many dinosaurs. That was to help it keep warm. Dinosaurs didn't become extinct. They transformed into birds. People thought Dilophosaurus had a big frill, but in fact, that's a myth. They had these bony crests on the tops of their heads. They used those for display to warn off competitors for mates. Around 20 feet long, standing six foot tall, weighing in around half a ton, this predator was definitely a force to be reckoned with. Strong, agile hunters, they used those formidable teeth and their claws to bring down and disembowel prey. There's another myth about them too. In a Hollywood blockbuster, they sprayed venom at their prey, but there's no evidence at all that they could do that. Meeting Dilophosaurus has been a real treat. Let's see what else I can find. The conifers all around me and these ferns look very similar to plants you'd see in the present day. They evolved between the Permian and Triassic times. They're real survivors and lasted much longer than the dinosaurs did. And look at this. This can only be the claw of one creature. It's the largest predator here, Allosaurus. Allosaurus is a carnivorous theropod. It had its heyday in the late Jurassic times. I really hope we're going to see one of those. Here we go, an apex predator in action. A big male Allosaurus attacking a family of Stegosaurus. He won't make a direct attack on the adult Stegosaurus. She can put up an incredible defense with that clubbed tail. The bony plates on her back make it very difficult for the Allosaurus to bite her. She also uses those plates for thermoregulation to maintain the right body temperature. This is a strategy used by many predators. The Allosaurus is hoping to separate the young Stegosaurus from their mother. The Stegosaurus is really putting up a good defense. They're not the cleverest of animals. They had a brain the size and shape of the sausage in a hot dog. But even so, she's doing anything she can to protect her babies. I think it's time to go before the male Allosaurus notices me.